Welcome to episode six of The Engine Room, brought to you by Land Rover. Today, we're joined by the two fullbacks, 15s, Josh Mackay and Ollie Smith. We've got um, the players and partners dinner coming up. Again, you won't have been to one of these yet, will you? I've never. I don't know, yeah, we, we wouldn't have been able to manage it last year. Nah, because the year, well, last year we didn't have anything like that. We had, well, we had a barbecue. Stand, yeah, the, bar- yeah. the oven barbecue. The oven barbecue. Yeah. Oven barbecue. Um, so we've also got that one this weekend. Um, that's a pretty special one. That's where <coughs> the boys get to get up and speak about each other. So anyone leaving, there's someone that's nominated to speak for them. So uh, yeah, things get a bit teary. Mm. It's quite a nice evening. Mm. That's the that's the passionate one. So um, the fact that neither of you been to them, you can't comment on it. So we'll <laughs> move on from that. Let's go on more a little bit more about rugby chat. Playing fullback. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Easiest job on the Fucking field. Daisies. Yeah. Let's just start with um, you two have obviously started quite a bit together on the field. 15 and wing. Do you ever switch it about? I don't even know if you do. You don't, do you? Situation, In your pendulum. Situation of dependent. Yeah, yeah. If, if uh, Ollie ends up out wide in the bottom of a ruck, then it might be me following uh, following the playing field. But yeah, we mostly stick to our, stick to our starting positions. Um, but yeah, I guess the good thing is, is we can sort of switch it up when need be compliments each other you know yeah do you think you compliment each other well yeah I'd say so yeah I don't know you're looking at me to like agree with you I haven't <laughs> got a clue I haven't got a clue how important is anticipation whilst playing fullback absolutely huge I mean it's not an exact science as Peter Murchie says about 20 times a day but um, working in the backfield is obviously quite a difficult job a lot of space to cover but um, when you work in your twos then it makes it so much easier just getting that. If the front line do their job, then makes our job a world world of ease. And let's say the front line don't do their job, and you have to swing in there for some try saving tackles. Do you boys practice that much? Nah, oh, I don't really see nah. you do much of that. I think no. that just more has to come naturally. Yeah. Is sort of the old anticipation things. Yeah, not an exact science, but if you sort of can anticipate roughly what might happen, then you can put yourself in a better position. Are you like we've not had to have too many of them, but you throw no. yourself in the spokes. Sort of guy, or well, Roof did my job at the weekend. Came flying out of nowhere, <laughs> took, it, <laughs> took Darcy out, took he him did, yeah, got elbowed right on the chops. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he nearly knocked himself out on that one. Yeah. Eh? He was running too fast for himself to be ruled on it. Um, in terms of marshalling the defences from 15, how do you boys operate when you're back there, Joshy? What would you? Yeah, oh, the biggest asset you've got when you're back there on your own is just your voice. You've got to scream at the boys in the front line, and if you're not getting a response, then you've got to scream even louder. Um, but yeah, obviously, because we're usually 30 or 40 metres away, you know, you've got to scream quite loudly. Sometimes it falls on deaf ears, uh, sometimes it doesn't. So, right. Um, high balls, another thing that a 15 has to <coughs> deal with a hell of a lot. Do you pra- again, you practice, practice that quite a, lot, a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you boys are pretty good at them, but yeah. nerve wracking under those high balls, eh? Yeah, you can see you, you'd, been, you'd be pretty calm, but it's. Uh, it's always pretty tough on the high ball, especially if they've got a good, if it hangs up there for a long time, then you know you're going to get absolutely whacked when you come down. So uh, it's part of the job, you know. Yeah, poor you. Bomb the food. Bomb, bomb, bomb the fusels. Bomb the fusels. Just so you, the you're saying, well. Joshy, I mean, I mean, there was a quote from episode four of the podcast. I'm sure you boys listened to it from Duncan Weir. Um, we spoke about you quite a bit on episode four, um, as you'll remember. Um, but about you just seem like you've got so much time on the ball all the time. How, how did you do that? Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure, actually. I um, haven't really thought about that, but, yeah, I mean, it all it generally all depends on the kick, doesn't it, Ollie? Yeah. If it's a good kick and you've got no time, so, yeah, as, as Ollie said, as soon as you hit the deck, they're on to you, but I suppose in those longer kicks, you can just keep calm and know that you're probably not going to have to jump. Then you've got a bit more time to either spin the ball wide or, or look to counter yourself. Holly, congratulations. You obviously picked up an award. Land Rover Young Player of the Year. Yeah. How did that feel, mate? Yeah, pretty cool. It was a bit of a surprise, um, but obviously chuffed to win the award. And yeah, happy the coaches decided to pick me. Um, and yeah, I don't even know what When you say it's a surprise, <laughs> who should have won it then? If it wasn't um, you or Dodge, because <coughs> Dodge won everything. Well, I think, yeah, obviously, say Dodge, Dodge and I are the same age. Picked up three awards, might as well have given them the fourth. But. Um, like the good young group in this squad we've got coming through, um, the next generation you could say, there's sort of Jamie Dobie, um, old head on young shoulders that boy. He's been around since he was 18. He's now coming 21, 
Um, he could have won it. Ross Thompson, he won it last year. He could win it again. Um, Rufus as well. Obviously, he had a bit of time out of injury, but he's been pretty awesome this season. Um, there's a good good group of young guys. So There is, but I think you're a worthy winner, so well done, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you I would have voted for you. Thank you. And not Rory Dodge, because yeah. I knew he was going to win all the others yeah, anyway. I know. Um, and Joshy, obviously, try the season, mate. <clears throat> Was it all yours to take or are you sharing it with someone? Yeah, I think I'm going to split it down the middle with Sibber there. Um, he's pretty much done all the hard work there, got the turnover, scooted off down the sideline. He must have heard me screaming at him in the back of his ear and uh, he's just throwing up an absolute peach of an offload um, and managed to get the hand on it and then finish her off. Do you speak to him in Spanish when you're behind him or was it? Uh, nah, I can't speak Spanish, but I was just screaming Sibber, Sibber, Sibber at the top of my lungs, so I must have got through to him. Um, and then I suppose we'll touch on Roy Dodge once more, um, as not? if the man's not been spoken about enough. So I actually, he struggled to get in the building, his head was so big this morning. <laughs> yeah. um, but what a humble bloke and a deserved winner of all those awards. Um, as I mentioned <laughs> when I was up there, player's player, an important one for me. Um, I'd say all the boys see that as a pretty special one. Mm. Voted, by, voted for by your peers. Um, little note on on the man, Dodge. Yeah, I think he thoroughly enjoyed all three uh, awards that he got. Um, humble bloke and just an absolute animal on the field. Yeah, yeah, I'll echo that. He's uh, <clears throat> very quiet off the field. He keeps his head out of rugby quite a lot. He um, Once he's in it, he's in it, but around the flat, going out for a coffee, last thing that man speaks about is rugby. That's <coughs> a lie, because I've walked into a coffee shop where you young boys are, and you sat watching Code on Dodge your phone. Dodge wasn't there. Dodge wasn't there. You, yeah, you are, oh, so it's just you. <laughs> sat watching Code on their phone in paper cup. Unbelievable scenes. I'm sure I there's better things to talk about. accusations, that wasn't there. That was <laughs> Shouldn't be allowed phones at the table. Well, that's all we've got time for. Hopefully you've enjoyed episode six of The Engine Room, brought to you by Land Rover. Gentlemen, thank you very much. You want to say goodbye? Yeah, thanks for having us. It's been a pleasure. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure having you. And that's all we've got time for.